Hall. Memorial Day just happened when I'm filming this and they had another big sale at Something Delightful and I went shopping because when you can get patterns for three to five dollars instead of 20, um, 15 to 20, that's the time to go. So let me show you the things that I picked up. First one is Vogue 9255 and I this is a vintage pattern. There's actually two different um, pictures you might see. There's one where it's sewn up on a real person or there's this one which is the vintage drawing and I just thought it was super cute. It's sort of got a boy short, a little crossover back, a bikini top and an, a smock style cover up. I remember my grandmother wearing tops like this all the time when she painted. Like she used them as smocks for painting. She was an artist. Anyway, I this was very um, nostalgic to me and I thought I'm just going to get it to have in my stash. Who knows when I'll make it, but I really like it. The next one is another lingerie pattern. This is Vogue 8888 and it's a pretty slip, two slip styles, a little um, short and then a robe in two lengths. Very pretty. I definitely will be making this one soon because I like, I really like this. Um, it's View B. It's got a very pretty crossover style um, in the lace. Vintage. I love the vintage. This is Vogue 1696. It's very interesting. It's, it's um, bias cut bodice, a very full skirt, and then the straps are the um, drawstring that goes through the neckline. So it has a neckline that draws up and the strap actually comes out the neckline over the shoulder arm and then it ties in the back. It has a great big tie in the back, which you can see here. I think this is so cute and I just want to try it. I want to see what it's like. Here's one that I know I'm going to be making soon. I really um, just like the style. It's McCall's 8211 and I like the little waist line. I like the raglan sleeve. It's got a couple different skirt variations including one that's tiered and full and it just looks like a great summer dress to, to live in. Um, this one is done in a woven and will have a zipper in it. Super cute. Another similar style. Now I've got this one for my daughter. The, the one they um, sewed up we didn't love but we liked the sleeve style of the others and this one I could see if we shortened the sleeve quite a bit uh, maybe doing it too but it has um, a fitted midriff and uh, interesting sleeve options. It's just really cute. I have a very long lean daughter who has a hard time finding dresses um, that are small enough around and long enough because she's just long and lean. So we're gonna do some sewing for her. This I thought was I, all of the rompers and things that you see right now are just I love it. I think it's so cute. So this one is very simple pull on has um, pockets, it has a raglan sleeve, it has sleeve, it has a short version, it has the pant version, and then it has the short sleeve and the three-quarter sleeve. It actually looks long sleeve. On the drawing it looks three-quarter. In the picture it looks long. So another fun one to try. And because of, it has a short version and the long version, like this could be summer or winter. You can make this in velour and you can make this in a really soft little knit. This is McCall's. 8009 and it's another um, one that I, I thought was so cool because it looks like it looks like in this version it just looks like a dress almost but it's a pant so that's another romper um, jumpsuit that's the other word I was looking for um, and it has uh, the sleeve that draws in at the at the wrist and then it has a full sleeve and then it's sleeveless so you got again got options easy to go day to night depending on your fabrications or how you dress this up so just want to try another one I know for me um, I like a romper but because of my figure I can't just go buy one off the rack so definitely um, do a few pattern alterations and I can have a pattern I can have a romper myself McCall's 7599 Another vintage look. I thought this was so cute. Um, just a fun summer dress because I just li live in dresses in the summertime as much as possible. I like that this has um, the very full circle skirt. It has a tie option or the little strap option. Just another fun dress to live in for the summer with a vintage look. And it's um, the bodices are slightly different 
This one has bust line darts and this one has waistline darts. So they are slightly different in the bodice. And I, I like this one actually, if you look at it, it has a slightly cowl boat neck for the yellow dress. Can't wait to try that one. This one is Butterick 6809, and this is one that comes in the plus sizes. So if you need a more extended size than um, the maybe to 22, this one goes to a 24 women's. So this one is an, an even fuller size. Shirt waist, I love this one has the shirt tail hem. This one has the two tiered hem. I just really like this. The one thing I'm not gonna do is it has um, breast pockets, which I just wouldn't do personally because they just never look good when you're as busty as I am. Um, but I really like the style of this dress. So this is on Stacy's Fast list um, for especially this pretty, I love this little flirty skirt. But this I could see wearing all the time with that short tail hem, good everyday dress. This is Butterick 6566. This is another one where I, it's got the romper or it's got a skirt option in the same pattern, raglan sleeve. It has a ruffle or no ruffle. You can choose which you'd rather have. It has, one of the options has this little spaghetti straps. It has a short sleeve or it has the ruffle as the sleeve. So I kind of like, there's so many variations. And because it has an actual sleeve option, which is this one right here, and it's a sleeve, it's a short sleeve with a ruffle on it. If you don't want that much sleeve, you could just do the short sleeve, leave the little ruffle off. Like you've got lots of options with this. It would be easy to do in more than one fabric. I think this, View B is so cute. So this is on my fast list. I actually think I actually have fabric for this already. So this will probably be made soon. I don't know when it'll show up in the videos, but it'll probably be made at home soon. And then another summery dress, because I really do live in dresses all summer. Um, this is Butterick 6210. Another shirt, um, shirt tail hem. It has a drawstring waist, which may be elastic with a false drawstring. I haven't looked into it yet. It has, um, you can do it with a short sleeve or no sleeve. Uh, one of the view options gives a paneled skirt. It got a, it's got a couple skirt lengths. One of the views is just a, sh a short skirt and without the shirt tail hem. So uh, again, pretty versatile, very comfy and wearable. Excited to do that. And then I also got, I'm gonna have to look at my thing. I got one digital pattern because it was not available and I have not downloaded it yet. Let's see, the digital pattern that I got, I'll put up a picture of it for you here. Nope, 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 don't know. I'll put up a picture for you though of the one pattern that I got that's digital that I have not yet printed out. So that's my quick little summary haul. Um, there were quite a few patterns that I wanted that were actually sold out already. Um, but there'll be another sale before long. I really love that they do sales fairly often like that. And I also have, um, did a few um, PDF patterns. So I have a jeans pattern that I'm very, from itch to stitch that I'm very excited to try. Probably gonna make shorts first just because I need some shorts for summary for working in the garden. But lots of fun patterns, lots of fun projects coming up. If you want your own sewists t-shirts like this one, back there. I also have sweatshirts and a couple of different styles. The link is uh, below to my Teespring shop where you can tell everyone that you're a serious sewist. Or maybe you just want to sew. See you next week for another fun video.